and welcome to our series about building Go executables. This time we're going to talk about build tags. Say you have a web server and you want to add profiling using the HTTP pprof library, this one. This is going to add a slash debug slash pprof endpoint to your web servers. But because this is a security issue, you don't want to build it by default. One solution is to add a build tag. So you can add a comment like this, go colon build and the name of the tag. The go colon build format is new since 117, but the old format of the plus build is also supported for backward compatibility. So once we have that, if you're going to run our server as usual, so go run the server, and I'm going to do CRL HTTP localhost 8080 slash debug slash pprof, I see that the page is not found. However, if I'm going to do go run and then say tags profile and run it, and now I'm going to go to this page, it does exist. The build tags are supported in the go run, the go test, and of course the go build subtools. And these are explicit tags. So you explicitly set them by name. But there are also implicit tags. And these tags are mostly for operating system and the architecture. So if you do go env goose and gorge, you will see that I'm running Darwin on AMD 64. And here I have three files by Darwin, by Linux, and by Windows. Which means that when I'm going to build on this machine, only the by Darwin file is going to be built. So if I'm going to run my server, go run dot, and then I'm going to do curl HTTP localhost 8080 by, I'm going to see Steve. Okay, these implicit build tags are mostly for building on different machines. So if you have different settings for different machines, you can look, for example, at Bbolt. It's a key value database. You see it has many files that ends with either the Go operating system or the Go architecture. That's it for build tags. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.